Okay, so as Stodd said, um, during the workshops tomorrow, I'm actually running a session where I'm building an entire campaign using, I think, almost all of the Creative Cloud applications, services and everything as well. Obviously, I don't have all that time today, so I'm going to cut it, cut it down a little bit and just show you a few little bits for it. In order to build that campaign, what it's for is for an imaginary coffee shop. So work with me here. It doesn't exist. It's an imaginary coffee shop. It's called Mad Coffee. It's on a beach in Australia. It's designed to give coffee to, or not give, but sell coffee to surfers, okay? And it's run by hipsters, okay? So we've got coffee, beach, surf, hipsters. So in order to, um, to start showing this, I've got my screen, and that didn't work. Oh, sort of slightly delayed. Okay, so in order to start, all I've actually got to start with is a picture of my son. Um, on a stand-up paddleboard, and I took this at Christmas time, actually down on the beach in Australia where there is no coffee shop. Um, and this is my son, and as you can see, um, <laughs> he's, uh, he's a little bit of a hipster. Um, so I did the hipster theme to tease him a little bit. Now, I'm not going to make any hipster jokes. I'm sure you've heard them all. I've got them all on vinyl. Um, so anyway, um, so I've got Matt there, and also also on the paddleboard here we've got ah oh, ah oh, ah. Oh. Hey, little tip in Photoshop: if you hold down the space bar, you can pat the dog. Um, <laughs> So anyway, I've got, I wasn't actually going to do this next little bit, but we've been talking a lot about Sensei today, Adobe Sensei, and the speed of content velocity and doing stuff. So I'm actually just going to show you, you should know that this button exists. I wasn't actually going to do this bit, so this might make me go along a little bit. I'm going to grab the quick select button. Do you know that there is this button up here, select subject? If you don't, it's going to save you an incredible amount of time. Now, the trouble is it's Adobe Sensei. Now, I want to select the subject, Matt, in the picture, it's not that easy to do. You can't just click the button like, you can't do that. You're designers, you're passionate. You've got to click it with feeling. So there's, seriously, it's doing an awful lot. So I'm gonna put a lot of feeling into it. Stand up off your chair when you do it. Click the button, click it with feeling. Click now, one, two, three, four, five, and Matt selected. Not only did it select Matt, it also selected Junie and Junie's reflection in the water. Now, it's only 95% done. I still need to clean up Matt's feet. Now, I haven't said that since he was about six, but um, I still need to do a little bit of work, but 95% of the way there in one click. So that's content velocity with uh, Adobe Sensei. Okay, I'm not doing anything in Photoshop. I'm gonna jump and tie the three things you've seen together to, um, in this presentation. Dimension, XD, and some video stuff at the end of it as well. So let's start in Dimension. So I'm gonna open up a Dimension file. You've seen this already. I'm gonna go really quickly. Um, I'm going to add a background, obviously a very hipster style coffee shop. Um, I'm going to have it match all of the image um, parts in here. You saw that before, so it's gonna do the, the sunlight, the light, the perspective, and all of that for me. <laughs> Done. I'm gonna add a coffee cup. Luckily, there's one in the library. Um, so I'll click on this. Obviously, it's fully sustainable coffee cup, fully combustible, double-walled, um, sealed with vegetable oil. Um, so I can just grab that and um, sort of move it around. I'll maybe put it about here. I'm just going to increase the size of that a little bit. Let's make the, yeah, that looks good. Now, the, the light's on the wrong side, so I'm going to grab the environment. I'm just going to rotate the sunlight around to the back. Let's just change that time of day. Pretty happy with that. Okay, so the coffee cup, as you'll notice up here, comes with both the cup and the lid. I'm going to choose the lid. I'm going to come across to my materials, and I'm going to zoom down and choose black plastic for the lid. Grab the cup. I'm going to zoom down a little bit further, and I've got some cardboard. Yeah, there we go. There's some cardboard there. Done. I'm going to grab the Mad logo from my library, which I created in Illustrator using variable fonts, drag that across, put it onto my cup, a little bit big, let's just shrink that down a bit. Obviously, you notice, you know, put it anywhere on the cup here, make it uh, yeah, about that size is good, and I'm just going to go up to render, and I'm just going to render that image out. So it's super, super, super fast um, to be able to do that. 
you ever notice when this little bar here, if you grab your cursor and you push it, yeah, see? <laughs> have you ever tried it? I bet you have. Okay, so anyway, oh, come on, the last little bit, I stopped pushing and I okay, gave up. So I rendered that, but here is a little secret that you haven't learned about um, inside there. If I go back to the design window, and what I'm going to do now is hold down my um, tab, shift, option, command, control, P key, and now out of my laptop, if you look at my laptop here, not up there, but my laptop down here, printing out of my laptop, oh, and it's a little bit hot, you can, whoops, and the, the lid fell off, you can print directly out of your laptop from Dimension. Okay, so now I've got to go across to XD. What I want to do now is actually build a mobile, I want to build a, a phone, so in fact, I've already built a lot of this. So here, I've got his, oh, <laughs> let's not do that. Here, I've got my tablet version, my phone version, down here is my website version. Let's just see what that looks like. I'll click on the tablet and play it. So here you can see the beginning of it. So if I click on this page, yes, it's small batch, bespoke, handcrafted, limited edition, artisanal coffee. I googled every hipster term I could find. Um, so you'll see here's the front page, you can see a lot of um, content here done in Dimension, again, even this, the old hut with the logo on it from built in 1963. We go to the uh, baristas, the hipster baristas um, on here, a whole bunch of them, I think my favourite, Leonora, who does, uh, grows hydroponic kale. Um, Fenton down here who glass blows mason jars. A whole, whole bunch of them on there, you can have a look at those later. Um, I'll jump to the product. So obviously the cups you saw me do already in Dimension. Yes, yes we serve juice, of course we do. People love the coffee so much they ask for the beans, so we serve those as well. And yes, we're fully sustainable and we even have a keep cup um, as well. But um, if you want to find it, um, <laughs> you won't. It doesn't exist. Um, however, if you're out surfing, you're actually on the waves, you're surfing, you're sitting on your board, you want a cup of coffee. You pull out your mobile phone, you open up the mobile application and you order a coffee. What happens then? Well, Matt and Junie sup out <laughs> and deliver the coffee to you, um, create it in there. Okay, so enough of that. Let's close that up. What I'm gonna do is build one of these pages really quickly. So I'm gonna come in here, grab the artboard tool, let's just add another file on side there. Uh, let's go back to my symbols library. I'm just going to put that in there. Let's just add that as a fill on the page. And this is the page that I'm going to build. Hopefully, really quickly. So I just need to open up a couple of things here, sorry. Just a moment, I'll just get that open and open up my library. Oh yeah, inside XD, so I've got my Creative Cloud library here. I'll just zoom down a little bit and I've got some images, here we go. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, I wanna put the banner image at the top. So I'm just gonna start in here, let's just grab that, draw the banner image and I'll just put the picture in there. Now I'm gonna cheat a little bit because I've already created the menu and saved it into the library as you heard before. Cisco talked about that. There's that and position it, gives me all the guides showing me exactly where I want to be able to position it. Now I need to put the baristas in. So you've all seen, you've seen this already, you saw um, Cisco do this before. I'm just going to grab Ignatius, of course, good old Ignatius, put him in there, grab some text, uh, put next to here, just, just type in name, let's grab that duplicate that down a little bit. You can see all the positioning that I get in here. Let's call this one interest. Okay, cool. I'm feeling like I want to zoom in a little bit there, so let's just get that. That's a bit better. Okay, let's just move interest up here. Now, I've only got one, so I'm going to select all of that, use the repeat grid, create all of the others on here. Let's just move that over a little bit. Happy with that. Grab a few more down here. Let's just move them down a little bit. Let's just grab all the other people because obviously they're all Ignatius at the moment and that's not good. Let's drag those in there. Jump to my text. I've got the barista names. Let's grab the names. Put the names in. Oh, oh yeah, that's okay. Grab the interests. Put the interests in there. That's okay. And then obviously even once I've done this, I can start moving them around and designing them and putting them where I want to. Come across into my symbols. Grab the name. 
put the right text in for that and the right symbol in for that. And then all the, oops, let's just drag that down a little bit. That fits in. And the last thing I need to do is just grab the, oh yeah, yeah, the social media tag and place it on the screen. So that's it. Like designing a page took me, what, two minutes, two minutes to do. That's enough of that. What I want to do now is jump across into Character Animator. If you haven't worked with Character Animator before, the whole idea of Character Animator is that I can actually take Photoshop files or Illustrator files and then bring them to life in Character Animator. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to import some files that I've created. And inside here, whoops, if I zoom in, I've just got a couple of uh, Photoshop files, um, PNG background and some music. So I'm just going to select those. Let's just import them into here. Done. Let's open up uh, the cup. So this was obviously done in dimension. What I'm going to do is grab the pin tool. You've got to be a little bit careful when you do this with a coffee cup so it doesn't leak. I'm just going to put some pins in the bottom down here. Um, I'm going to open up the Avo Toast. Yes. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yeah, and literally my wife took a, I made the Avo toast and I took a picture. Let's put a few pins inside here, put that on there. And then what I'm going to do is grab the bench. I'm just going to add that to a new scene. Uh, it's created the scene. Let's grab the cup, drag that into the scene. Let's just move it over a little bit onto this side. Let's grab the Avo toast, pull that out. Let's move that over to the other side a little bit. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, let's bring the music in. And let's grab the cup. In fact, I just want to move that over just a little bit more. That'll do. There. I'm going to turn off a bunch of these other things here. I don't want it to do any of these. I'm going to turn on my camera. Put my face in the circle here. And I'm going to do the set the rest pose. Just so you can see what that did. It's now tracking my face. That's quite freaky, isn't it? Um, put that back there. I'm rewinding. I'm going to hit record. And hopefully I've got some music, uh, my sound on my laptop, I'm hoping. <gasps> Let's hit record. <laughs> yeah, you get the idea. So I'll stop that. Okay, so I'm going to grab that. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to select the toast layer. I'm going to rewind, and I'm going to paste that, paste that onto the toast layer. Let's now just rewind it and play it again. Okay, you get the idea. Now, the trouble is, I don't know if you recognise that music. That music came from a song back in the 80s. Um, it was actually a song produced by a band. A band, uh, I don't know if you know Jason Levine, um, who unfortunately couldn't get here, but um, this was a, a back from a song back in the 80s um, by Jason and the Junies. Junie the dog, obviously, um, called Mad Coffee and Avo Toast. Now, this, this actually, if you know Jason Levine these days, this is Jason when he was 18. Um, this was me when I was 18 and had hair. Um, and obviously, Junie, ah, oh, the puppy dog. So, Jason and the Junies with Mad Coffee and Avo Toast, we got the band back together and did a recording of Mad Coffee and Avo Toast. 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 If you're out surfing and you want a snack, grab the mad coffee mobile app. It's the biggest little secret and you love it the most. Mad coffee and avo toast. Folks, that's all from me. Thank you very much.